All right, so three by three crafting row, yay. Let's make sure we have enough cake. Not that we need cake because it's not doing anything right now. How are we doing? Probably not staying. Um, we're probably losing TNT for the speed that it's crafting. Because we're already down to here. Oh, it's broken. Very broken. Great. <laughs> that fix it. Still falling down though because it's using more TNT than we're making. Um, I have no clue if I could do this any faster though. We'll see while we're here. Hmm. Looks like it's gonna give it enough time. So I'm watching the hourglass, you guys. I'm watching the hourglass while this happens, and it's now it's flipping, so it's had time to craft it. I think we'll be okay with 10 seconds here, but I don't know if I'm gonna be fast enough here. So we want to make sure that this continues to grow. 46, 47. Forty-eight. Forty-seven. So we might actually grow. So we'll be able to get back to where we were, hopefully. I have a bunch of gunpowder in my inventory right now. We're gonna go put that stuff away. Don't we have fun watching me break things? I mean, that's half of our streams. <laughs> Finding things broken and fixing it. All right, so that did that. These need spots. I've done it before, but that was before they were locked. To remember, so I can actually put them away up here. Same with petals. Um, brown. And light gray. And we're good. Okay. That's Minecraft Redstone anyway. Finding stuff broken and then figuring out how to fix it. Yes, but my problem was the buckets. The buckets problem, which we probably need more buckets. So if we did... Um, stack of iron ingots again. And made some more buckets. Yeah. It looks like the flowers have slowly fixed themselves. They have the water buckets now. Oh, another one that might be really broken right now is the Reflausia. Yep. 
Yep, it is. Okay, let's get over here and take you out for now. Okay, there's nothing in there. Shoot. Look at all those buckets of water, guys. I need this white flower. There we go. Um. Okay. Can I say that is likely a, that was a big problem. <laughs> and we should have fixed it now. We will need to go put the petals away. And the buckets of water, since it's in the corporea, will get counted. So these will get pulled out eventually. I bet that's all our buckets of water. Um, and if only I had had this set up so that it wouldn't craft if it was missing supplies. None of this would have happened if I'd had all of my things set up that way. But it's, oh, I've tried um, a little bit in creative, in uh, the testing world. It's not an easy setup in any case, so I'm a little nervous about trying to do it. <sighs> okay. Alright, now, now can we do this? Can we get this back to working on things? Hmm. I wanted to work on the mob farm next. That's, that's really what I wanted to work on. And I... No, I... Ugh. This whole bucket fiasco has not... If it hasn't happened twice before already, I'd be surprised. But I'm pretty sure it's happened at least twice before. Um... Yeah, I wanted to work on the mob spawner. So that I could at least AFK here. Um, to get ender pearls and blaze rods. Um until we have enough mana, which will be a while, to run the blaze spawn- to run the spawners without me here. Uh, we need a lot of mana to do that, and we're just- I'm- um, yeah. But I made a list of the things I need to make, or do, and I've set up- this will go away. I was just using this to, you know, make sure the dimensions were correct, and obviously the torches will go away too. Um, but that's the killing floor. There is space under the killing floor. I just don't have access to it. Um, all of these podzel spots are going to be Rosa Arcana because I can't push um, XP chunks. I can't push them anywhere with daffodils or anything. So they'll just pile up on the floor. And I don't want that. Um, so I will need to place nine Rosa Arcana in here every hour. Doesn't sound like fun. Um, underneath will be um, the 
Ren and Carpus to place them. They'll be the hopper hawk for picking up drops. Um, I decided not to use a bell thorn. I know I mentioned that yesterday about using a bell thorn that causes damage to mobs. Um, mainly because of two things. Endermen um, drop a bunch of XP. Let's see. Enderman isn't it. It's blazes and spiders. Blazes will drop blaze rods only when it's a player kill and in this mod pack living wood avatars count as a player. So that's the same with spiders. Spiders will drop spider eyes when killed by a player and we need spider eyes. So again, living wood avatar counts as a player. So I actually need to use a living wood avatar to kill the mobs. The one way of doing that, a really awesome way of doing that, is with the um, rod of the unstable reservoir, um, which sends missiles down from the sky to kill mobs. So that needs mana. I am hoping that eventually this mob farm will be mana positive. It'll make more mana than it needs as an AFK farm. I don't think it will run mana positive when the life, not life aggregators, the other life thing. Um, a life imbuers use a lot of mana. The life imbuers are gonna consume a bunch of mana, so. <laughs> so, we need to have a bunch of flowers to make, we have a living wood avatar to make, I have a rod of the unstable reservoir, so we don't need to make that. We'll need to hook storage up to the corporea so we can access all of our everything that drops. We need to move the vinculotus that we have up there, down here. We need to make a tiger's eye that will prevent creepers from exploding, and we'll definitely need that. Um, so we'll need to automate Rosa Arcana, which we need a random carpus for. We need a hopper hawk for storage, and I'll be making a stairwell. Hello. Hi. Wow, I need to light up down there, don't I? Oh, that's why all you guys are down there. Okay. Hello. Hi. Let's light it up down here. Get rid of some of these really bad spawning areas. Um, that should be good to get started. So yeah, I'll make a stairwell go down and round to the bottom to access um, under the floor. Should figure out, I think it's right here. Yep. Hello. I didn't light it up in here, did I? I should do that, because it doesn't need to be dark under here. So this is the space under the killing floor. <laughs> as you can see. So, um, okay. I suppose we get started. Let's make the flowers we need to make. And I've got them written down here, but clearly I'm not gonna have them accessible for <laughs> where I'm at my petal apothecary. So we need a hopper hawk. We need a random carpus. We need a tiger eye. Um, while we're there, we need the living wood uh, avatar. We need to grab our redstone box if I don't already have it. And we need storage. Probably, it, it's probably best to 
do... Hmm. Storage drawers, I'm thinking. Perhaps. Let me sip some coffee now that it's cold. Okay. I've jotted stuff down. I'm freaking out here thinking that my flowers are breaking again or whatnot. So when we get back up to this index, we're going to count how many buckets we have again. So we still have a flower. Did it run out of TNT? Oh no, it's running right now. Okay. Now, last time we looked, we had 47 TNT. Count TNT. We have 49. Okay, so that's okay for now. Count uh, gunpowder. We're out. So that's a problem. We've got, it's broken. <laughs> that means our crafting setup is broken because we've run out of gunpowder. Um, we're gonna take the timer out. <laughs> A box of hugs? Oh great! So I can just pull one out whenever I need a hug, Darkwing. Thank you! Today I think we're gonna need a lot of them. Alright, take you out. And... It broke even though there was tea in the Hmm... Even though it had three stacks of gunpowder. Wow. Why did it... It must have at one point run out of... The timing need, must need to be 20 seconds. I suppose I could do 15. But I need to get this gunpowder put away. What am I thinking? Ugh. Alright, I'm taking a hug. <laughs> uh... Oh boy. How are we on flint? Are we out of flint? Yeah. Totally need a creeper spawner. To keep that running. So we're gonna run out of TNT here pretty soon. Let's turn this off so we don't waste more entropiniums. Um. Oh, it was nice while it lasted, right, guys? Now we know the demands our system requires. Uh, needs a lot more gunpowder and a lot more gunpowder. Because we're doing okay on sand, I'm thinking. Count sand. 388. <laughs> Oh boy. So, good to know that the TNT, which has run for not quite an hour. Let's see here. It's not even made one mana pool. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Yay. So, just trying to calm down a little bit, since we've had a bit of a stressful situation going on with all of our things. Doesn't work very well for me, since I'm already dealing with mental and emotional issues every day. Yay. Um, really need to just get back to what we're doing because the TNT it'll just shut off when we're out of TNT it won't make any try to make any more and break we have four buckets there's 
35 water buckets. Probably need to put a few more buckets in the system. How are we on iron? Because I've been using quite a bit. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Two stacks. Spell right. We'll make some more buckets. And I have a spot for them, so there we go. There we go! <laughs> okay. So, my list. We need... <clears throat> we need a hopper hawk. And we'll only need one to pick up drops. And um, redstone root and seeds. Okay. And then we need a ranananan carpus. And I believe we're only going to need one of these. I think once it has mana, the range is enough to cover all of those spots. And then we need a tiger eye. I've never made a tiger eye before. But this is the one that'll keep creepers from blowing up. And it'll actually cause them to run away from players, too. Uh, autumn. Do we have an autumn rune? We do. We'll use you. All right. Let's grab our... Oh, we need one more seed. It's seeds, plural. Water while I'm here. Okay. And then... Oh, hello, water. Tiger's eye, and then water. And... Ran and carpus. Okay, make them all floaty flowers because they're all functional. All right, there's the flowers. We can check them off. We need a living wood avatar, which is, I want to say it's seven living wood and a mana diamond. I'm not sure if it's seven, though. It is not. But there's our living wood avatar. And... Rod of the Unstable Reservoir. Um, we're gonna need a mana spreader to make the avatar work. Hmm, let's do six dream wood and elementium. Did I spell it wrong? Um, I might have. must have and then we need some kind of a petal
mana spreader need living rock to make the mana pool and we have sparks we have to figure out how to get mana there um storage I need to make a controller I need you controller uh two comparators some stone and a diamond do i have stone on me no and we have comparator we hopefully have two comparators in here yep okay controller and now we need to make several drawers And we have a bunch of birch, so let's do birch wood. Start out with making um we'll do twelve of these. Now we need some planks. And do we need slabs too? I haven't made drawers in a long time, guys. No. Okay, so Things we want a lot of. We'll start with four. We'll need full size drawers, four. And then everything else we'll do two. What are the two? That. Um. I think, yeah, we'll do that for now. And then I think let's pick you back up. Let's see here. As far as decorating the inside of the spawner, I do plan on doing so with um, the um, the, sh the shale. There's some down there. The green stuff there. Green, blue, purple. It comes in three colors. Plan on doing like a chevron design going down, pointing downward into the farm. That's, that's the plan. Um, you. And we're going to put the, that there, the living wood avatar here, the mana pool will go on top, and we're going to need a spark with a dominant augment to make sure it's always got it, and it won't have any now because we're way too far away from any mana uh, source. Um, I might be happy if we can put some light in here somewhere, but for now... Nope, I think I want him more visible. And then if you give him this thing... There we go, he's glowing to say he's got one, and he just can't run until he has mana. Okay. And then the rest of this stuff will be done... Whoops. Down below, we've got going here, and the rent the floating tiger's eye. I have no clue what the range is. Oh, we should grab. While I'm thinking about it, we need to grab that vinculotus to keep Enderman from teleporting away, and it is in here. We'll be able to tear this down and get rid of it. Alright. 
covers the area. We're good. Um, we'll do the tiger's eye. And these are, should have bound to that mana pool. Yes. Okay. And then these two are going to go underneath. Um, the ran and carpus. Let's see. Three corporea crate empty space, and then we'll put Podzol under you. I hope this reaches. Um, I don't know if it will. We might have to put him in the wall. That's probably a better option. Give me you. But I'm flying. So we'll put you in the wall. Um, put you on the other side. Hello. Hi, creeper. Alright, so this will be for whatever. I need to get a Podzol block. And you. And then we need the open crate and whatnot right here. And that should. It's too far away from a mana pool, so it can't place. Um, so we need to actually put it in one of these spots. Okay. Try again. Now you're close enough, and you just placed... Yeah. Okay. Funnel, spark, item frame. Yeah, there's a slime chunk in my Gaia Guardian <laughs> arena. Yep! And then this... We'll put him right there, and we're gonna put a... Uh... Ooh. Yeah, we'll probably have to. Redstone container. I uh, probably don't need him all the way up here though, because he's got a range when he has mana pool. He has a range of 21 cubed. Um, I want to make sure he still has. Let's lower him. Um, one, two. Three. Let's see how three does. Can you still reach the mana pool? Yes. And then the controller can go here. And get rid of those. Okay.
I don't know what all it's gonna need so far, so we'll do that. Maybe we'll do... Oh. I don't know what all I need. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do that. Or whatever all the stuff is that we're going to need. Um, we also need to make another mana spreader. Oh, I now see another issue. Um, the issue I see is all of the Rosa Arcanas will bind to the nearest mana spreader, and currently the nearest mana spreader is the one with the Livingwood Avatar, which means as soon as the buffer in the mana spreader fills up, the Rosa Arcanas will stop functioning. So I think it binds to the nearest one, so we might just want to stick mana spreaders underneath each of these spots, which would make them close enough to those and so it won't bind to the one that's over there. And even if it does, it would only be this one. So we'll put mana spreaders underneath each one of those, pointing into a main pool, I think. Okay, so we need to come up here. We need to make nine mana spreaders. And because of the Rose Arcana is not a really high producing mana flower, we're just gonna make regular ones. Stack of living wood, uh, nine mana steel. Oh wait, it's not mana steel, it's gold. And then we need nine petals. Hello there, zombie. I'm so glad you found me. From wherever you came from. You have 30 levels now. Yay! Alright. Okay, so once we get the mana spreaders placed... We'll get them configured to point at a mutual mana pool. Um, which we can put... That should be all right. Right there. I think all of them should be able to connect to it. So those are all good. Okay, I need a spark on top of it. That way um, the dominant spark over there will pull and we'll also have other ones that are dominant that'll pull. So we'll be able to take the mana out of there. Okay.
die, 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 die. You annoying little things. Okay. Rose Arcane, we need to do that yet. We have those. Story tricked up to Corporea, no. Living with Avatar, yes. Mana transfer, no. All right, so that stuff still needs to be done. We need to fill this in still. <laughs> um... We're gonna stagger the death of the Rose Arcanas. See, there's nine. Does not fit well into 60 minutes. Nine does not fit well into 60 minutes. Um. <sighs> Might have to do four. Can't do three because of the way the corporea works. Um, let's go get an hourglass and a piece of podzel. We did four every 20 minutes. And then we'd be wasting a lot. We'd be wasting Three an hour. Bah. How much closer can we squish it in there? It's one every seven minutes. Well, 6.667. That would be a little less. Oh, we forgot the open crate. Kind of need the open crate. Um, we have an index over here, don't we? Now he's taken to standing at the end of the hall to make his little noises. 
We need to get a Rosa Arcana. All right. To do, to do, to do. Uh huh. And we're gonna put you actually behind. Let me in. Or not. spot. Well, the Hopper Hawk's working pretty well, even though it doesn't have any mana. Okay. Rosa Arcana, what do we need? Because once it has, once it has mana, this will extend. All right. All right. So that's our next task: is getting mana over here. Corporea won't be as difficult because there's a Corporea spark somewhere, somewhere in here. So it won't be that difficult to bring it down and over. So let's take care of the easier step first. And we'll do one up here. And make sure that it connects. Well, I need to not shift when I click on it. Okay, so it connects. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll put one at the foot here. And so you should connect. Yep, and so then you connect to there, which means down here. You should also pair. Can I get rid of you so I can make sure you don't? You're just a touch too far away, huh? Well, that's not a problem. Let's put the spark in the wall there. And now you should reach. And now you reach. Whoops. Okay. Put me back. Great. I have a whole bunch of not lit up areas around here. Okay, hooked up to Corporea, done. Is mana transfer the only thing we have left? I think so. All right, we're gonna quickly go into Spectator and see where we have our mana stuff. Cause we need to get it to here. Um, the nearest, there's the line right there, and I think that's the closest line, so we've got a distance to go. Um, 
We need to get it to here and we'll also need to get it along this back wall where I'm going to be putting the mana spreaders that are going to point at the life imbuers eventually. So we have to go, can we do this line? If we were to pair it off right here, it looks like it's not going to run into the tree farm at all because the wall's a little further over. And it'll line up really well with this, so we'll be able to bring the mana down to the bottom where we need it. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, it's trying desperately to make flint, isn't it? Where are we at? I'm still at zero because we're don't have enough gunpowder. Oh boy. Definitely gonna have to go on an adventure looking for a creeper spawner. That might take us a while. <laughs> yep, not looking forward to that. But, um, okay. Game mode survival. Great. Go digging for gravel. And the gravel isn't, yeah, I know I can like manually collect a whole bunch of flint, especially since my shovel has fortune three on it just to build that up. But that won't keep me going in the um, long term. And I have to consider the long term. It would be a decent supplement. You, you're correct. It would be a decent supplement. It is something for me to consider until... Because I won't be able to run my creeper spawner all of the time. Because I need so much mana to do so. I would have to AFK once I found it. So, I mean, that is definitely something I need to consider. Um, so, yeah. But, let's see, it is almost time for the lunch break. We have most everything set up for our mob spawner now though. We have the killing floor, we just need mana. We have um, XP collection as well as item collection and we have Rosa Arcane as automated so that it will collect the XP and turn it into mana, which is what we need. We have the Vinculotus and the Tiger's Eye to keep those mobs um, on leash under a leash <laughs> and we have storage connected to the network so we'll be able to access everything anywhere that is needed yeah so I'm gonna take my quick five minutes break feed the cats and when I come back we're gonna hook up that mana line bring it all the way over to the mob farm so that we have mana over there all right so don't go anywhere i will be right back <laughs> <laughs> 